Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly install and set up Proxmox version 8.1. My name is James, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. Proxmox Virtual Environment provides a comprehensive, open-source solution for managing servers in enterprise virtualization. It seamlessly integrates the KVM Hypervisor and Linux Containers, LXC, along with software-defined storage and networking features, all on a unified platform. Through its integrated web-based interface, users can effortlessly handle virtual machines. In this video, will demonstrate how to install and configure the latest version of Proxmox. To begin, visit the Proxmox website and download the ISO installation file from the designated download section. Before proceeding further, be sure to review the requirements for Proxmox. Now that you have the Proxmox server ISO, you can burn it onto a DVD using programs like Nero Burning ROM, Deep Burner, Infra Recorder, and so on. Additionally, you can use the Rufus tool for creating a USB installer. On the other hand, if you want to test Proxmox in a virtual environment, you can create a new virtual machine and mount the existing Proxmox ISO image file to install the server. In this scenario, we will create a new virtual machine for Proxmox and boot the installation from the ISO image file. As you can see, in this example, we're using VMware Workstation Pro for testing. Select file. New virtual machine, choose the custom option. In this window, I recommend using ESXi 7 compatibility and finally select the option, I will install the operating system later. In the new window, since we're testing Proxmox, which is Linux Debian based, we'll choose the Linux option and select the latest available Debian version. Choose the location for the new Proxmox virtual machine and click next. Since we're just testing Proxmox, select one physical processor and eight cores per processor while setting the memory capacity to eight gigabytes. For network settings, network address translation can be a good environment to start with, but bridged network is also fine as it allows us to have internet access and access to existing resources on the network without much additional configuration. The controller we'll be using is LSI Logic, and the disk type will be SCSI. The next step leads us to create the disk and set its maximum size. In this example, we'll choose a 60 gigabyte capacity for Proxmox system drive and select the option to store the disk as a single file. By clicking Finish, we create the new virtual machine, and then we need to add the ISO file of the Proxmox system to begin the installation. A new virtual machine has been created. And now we have the ability to edit this virtual machine and add the ISO system file. Select Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Choose the virtual CD DVD drive and instead of physical, select Use ISO Image File. Pressing power on this virtual machine will automatically start the Proxmox installation system. During installation, we'll choose the graphical interface. At this point, the system is preparing all necessary requirements including network configuration. Read the license agreement. Proxmox requires a certain amount of space for installation. In this case, we'll use 20 GB of disk space for Proxmox, while we'll use other storages with larger capacity for storing future virtual machines. Choose the language you'll use while working, create your password, and fill out email information for future use. Keep in mind that the default username for the login page is root. For the management network, we need to define a fully qualified domain name and static IP address, default gateway, and DNS server. The system now has all the necessary information it needs to proceed with the installation. After installation, the system will prompt you to restart it to boot Proxmox from the disk where it's installed. Now that we have Proxmox installed on our server, we need to access it via a web browser. Since the certificate is not valid by default, you can continue by clicking on Advanced and then selecting Accept the Risk and Continue. As mentioned earlier, 
The default password for Proxmox is root. We need to upload ISO files in order to have ready installations for future virtual machines. In this example, we will upload the latest Ubuntu server installation, which we will use to install a new virtual machine inside the Proxmox virtual environment. Now that we have the ISO image prepared, we can proceed with the installation. We'll choose the Create Virtual Machine option and define general settings such as the operating system type, location of the installation image, system disk capacity, number of physical and logical processors, memory capacity, and network interface for communication on the network. Once we've configured the virtual machine, we can start it up. As you can see, the installation process is relatively fast. Simply fill in the required information requested by the Linux server and continue. At this point, it's necessary to assign a name to the future server and create a username and password for the future user. The installation is now complete, and we have a prepared virtual machine ready for use. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.